Disclaimer. The following reveal will be in black and white. With some silent scenes. Due to the nature of this film. Please read the captions when they appear. Enjoy! Hi! Welcome. She's so gangster. Okay, (laughs) so today we're going to be talking about a wonderful new film that was made in 2011 called (laughs) The Artist. Yay! Woo! The Artist was directed by Michael Hazanavicius. Um, and some main actors inclu- include Jean Dujardin, it, who plays George Valentin, the protagonist throughout the film. Um, Berenice Bejo is, uh, Peppy Miller in the film. And we cannot forget our favorite character, Mr. Uggy the Dog, who is a Jack Russell Terrier, who is just adorable. Yeah. Sorry if her pronunciation offends any of you. It yeah. offends me. Oh. Alright, so, just a quick little overview, not to reveal any of the plot, because that's her job. Um, it's a silent film in black and white, so it's very complex. Um, and this movie was great, it won five Oscars, so hey, I mean, come on. Alright, so a quick synopsis, summary. So, basically it's about this guy, George Valentine. Played by Jean, Jean Dujardin. Jean Dujardin, as she said. Sorry if my pronunciation offends you, too. And he's been a very famous silent film actor for quite a while now. But it's around the time of the 1920s, 1930s, the talking film era started. So he has to deal with trying to keep up with the times while staying true to himself, his artistic self. He, he's the artist. And also has to deal with love as Peppy Miller, an aspiring actress in Hollywood, comes into his life. So as was mentioned before, this film is in black and white and silent. And something cool if you're interested in the technology or film editing, this film was actually filmed in color and when they went back they edited it and put black and white filters and they also cut out the sound from there which I thought was really cool because of course I mean that's how we do it now and when we have the technology but I think that really made the picture look it looked really nice and so continuing on we have the historical context of this film like we discussed or rather she discussed I think um, the film is set in the Roaring Twenties. It kind of progresses on into the Great Depression and stock market crash of 29. Um, you kind of see a lot of the the costumes. Uh, the women wear, they look like flappers. So they have short hair, dresses, and they do a lot of dancing. So, <laughs> I mean, you can, you can easily tell. And they also portray the effect that the Great Depression, because it's interesting because we usually learn about how the Great Depression affects, like, middle class and poor like lower class but this one in this film since the protagonist is like a wealthy actor even he was like greatly hit by the depression yeah okay so something really interesting that i noticed in this film was the use of captions basically (laughs) silent films have these captions that come on after they say after they say something. It's usually just another frame. It's not just a caption on the lower part of the screen. It's an entire different Yeah, yeah. and normally it's actually a lot shorter than what, what they, they actually, actually said. said. <laughs> but something I noticed, which I thought was really cool, higher level English student, so get, get, uh, get, per- get, <laughs> get ready. I'm saying higher level. <laughs> <laughs> so what it was, as the movie went along, obviously we already said that it starts out being the silent film era, and then progresses into 
more of the talkies era, as what they called it. So, during the silent film part, before the talking ever really started, there were very few captions, and you pretty much had to just rely on big motions, like Shreya's intro. <laughs> but as the, as the movie progresses and it gets more into the talking era of film, more captions, like, cap the captions become more prominent. And then his life kind of spirals out of control because obviously, you know, he's more with the silent era. <laughs> and as his life kind of spirals out of control, there's more captions that appear. And then kind of near the end, again, not going to give any spoilers, he gets more control <laughs> of his life, sort of, and the captions become less prominent. <laughs> okay, so another interesting thing about this movie is that it's silent movie inception. Because at the beginning of the film, and I remember getting really confused when I watched this, like, started watching it, you're actually watching a silent movie that the main character act was acting in. So you're watching his premiere, and you see that there's an orchestra at the front, and they're playing the background music for the film. So I thought that was really interesting that during the silent movie era, they had orchestras playing at the at the theater this was probably the a special situation because it was the premiere i don't know if they did this at all theaters but the fact that they had an actual orchestra there playing the background music for a silent film and if you know anything about silent films since there's no talking and um, there's no like background sounds even now in movies nowadays we see the use of background music is really essential for bringing out the mood in the film and also another thing about the premiere was that the actors were waiting behind the screen and then, like, popped out at the end and, like, said hello to their, like, didn't say hello to their fans, but they were kind of, the main actor was running, running around on the stage making a scene. And it was interesting that he actually never talked, so we're thinking that at that time, he, it was like, instead of having them sit in the crowd with their, with the rest of the viewers, they were behind there so that the viewers wouldn't hear them talk, because that could have ruined the film, could maybe ruin the film, uh, because in, Apparently something is really funny over here. And we undertook new challenges by <laughs> trying to understand silent movies with oh, just yeah. the captions. Yeah. And the captions, music. they'd say things like, Hello there, I'm so happy to see you. Are you ready to go do this, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, hello there, are you ready to go, would be the caption. And that So now, we're going to talk about the, or rather, our own Oscar ratings. Ooh. Greetings. So, I <laughs> I give this film five out of five Oscars. Yes. Because it was truly amazing. It was my first experience with a black and white silent film. And all the characters seemed to speak to me. Especially Uggy the dog. Alright, hi. So, I give this film... Five, five out of five Oscars because I really liked it and I thought it was very funny and it was the first silent film that I had also seen as Jordan said and it gave me a funny movie to watch and I really really liked it. Hi, so I'm going to give this film five Oscars out of five because it was also, again, my first silent film, not first black and white, but I really enjoyed the dancing, the dogs, the people, the clothes. It was so beautiful and I relate to the main character. What? 